Hi again, this is Paleo Man 52 and recently I've had a question come up about spalling how to get started with a larger stone so I thought I'd hopefully try to make a video here show you a little bit of the technique I use and uh, maybe it'll help you when you're trying to break down a bigger rock what I'm going to use is a hammer stone and and possibly a deer antler. I'm going to try to shoot this by myself so we'll, we'll see how it comes out and uh, let's get started. Let me use this big chunk of basalt right here. It's pretty thick. Definitely needs to be spalled down and I think I, uh, I use this trusty old hammer stone that I've been using right along. Now you can you can strike right here on the edge and just drive one in to get started. So let's let's see how that goes. Okay. Now there's your first spall, and um, that's a pretty good one because you could do something with that, make a knife blade, whatever. It's got a razor sharp edge on it, and where that came off, it removed all of this area here. So. I'll look around here again, see where there's another good area to drive one. Now this time I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to try to land on this angled surface. I don't know how well you can see that, but you can see it's flat and it's angled here. So let me trim off a, maybe a couple little pieces just to see how it's going to go. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to land inward a ways and almost straight down. No, that didn't quite give me much. Okay. See, by landing straight down, it causes the flake to come off the bottom. And there's a really, really nice flat flake. And that removed that area. Let's move over just a little bit, see if we can get another one here. Okay. That cleans that surface up pretty good. And I'm going to go around here to the thick area again. And let's see. I guess I'll try to take off this corner. Again, there's another nice spall that can be used. And it removed that area. So now I'm going to take the area where I have a little bit of an angle and try to remove one in this area here. Again, I'm going to land kind of almost straight, straight down on it. When you do that, you get a pretty nice flake. And that can be used also. Plus, this one also came off, which is another very usable flake. From time to time, you need to trim it up a little bit, take some smaller flakes, like this. And the, the object here is to have one large biface when you're done. Okay, I landed right straight down in this area here, which takes off this flake here. You can see that the pile of flakes are growing here, and uh, they're all usable. And there's still a lot of material left here that you could spall up. Uh, this is not used up by any means. And uh, maybe I'll take off a few more flakes just to see what we can get. There's one right here. That was more of a trimming flake because I want to hit this mass here. So let's land one in this area. Okay. A little bit shorter, not as exactly what I wanted, but when you're small and this can happen. There we go. So what I wanted to do. I wanted to land in this area here to drive off this big flake here. So I hope this helps out a little bit and uh, shows you what you need to do to do a little spalling. You notice I didn't use the uh, moose antler because I'll use that as it gets a little thinner. But uh, not too much waste right here. Just a few smaller pieces. But these are the flakes that we want right here. And then we'll have one large blade here. So 
that's the lesson I was hoping to give on spalling, and I hope that uh, you enjoyed it and learned something from it.